Bonjour, my friends. I'm Frankie, and welcome to Club Foodie. After a long day or when having friends over, it's nice to sip on a cocktail like a Bloody Caesar, which is similar to a Bloody Mary. What makes it even better is when this drink is dressed up a little with condiments, like this one. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my easy pickled green beans. They're quick to make, plus it's a great way to save money by making them from scratch. So let's start. The first thing we'll do is to make the brine. So in a medium saucepan over medium high heat, we'll add water, followed by white vinegar, some pickling salt, although kosher can be used instead, and then sugar. We'll stir until the sugar and salt are dissolved and bring the mixture to a boil before removing from the heat to cool off. Meanwhile, we'll look after the green beans. What we'll do is to pick the straight ones, not the ones with a curvy shape, because it's easier to stack them in a jar, and you'll see why in a few seconds. When the beans are all sorted, We'll trim the ends and discard them. Now, to see if we have the right amount, we'll stack them in a mason jar. Now, as you can see, I still have more space to add a few extra green beans. And there, now the jar is pretty packed. So we'll remove them from the jar. I know, it's back and forth. Set them aside while we wash our jar thoroughly before moving on to the stove. In another pot, we'll quickly blanch our green beans in boiling water for about 45 seconds. I'm not kidding you, that's plenty. Why blanching? This step kills the bacteria on the surface, therefore extending the life of the beans when storing in the fridge. So when time is up, we'll transfer them to an ice water bath to stop the cooking process and leave them in to cool completely. Next, we'll add coarsely chopped garlic in our clean jar, followed by dill weed, although if you have fresh dill around, I suggest using it, and some red pepper flakes. We'll now add our cooled green beans and pack them tightly before pouring in the cooled brine we made earlier, making sure to cover the veggies completely. We'll place a sterilized lid on, then the screw band, and transfer to the fridge. We'll try to wait a couple days before enjoying them. <laughs> and my friends, these are our easy pickled green beans. Crunchy, what a nice thing taste to them. This is a great condiment for your bloody Caesar, but also for your charcuterie board. They can be added to salads or serve them on the side along with a sandwich. Within 20 minutes, you've got yourself a fresh batch without the high price. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit cuffwitty.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!